this house. There's some roars in 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 this house. Hey y'all. Happy Monday. It is August 29th. Boy, like September is basically here. It's 8.45 in the morning. I just finished doing my skincare, taking a shower and getting ready. I'm about to eat breakfast and then I'm going to prep for a meeting that I have at 10. I'm feeling so much more rejuvenated this week. Last week, I was just so tired from vacation and then when i came back i got back at like after one in the morning like by the time i got into my apartment and then monday i only slept until like maybe nine because i had to go pick up skipper from the boarding place i had to go grocery shopping i had to meal prep i had to do laundry i just was running around all day so i didn't really get a chance to rest on monday which i had taken off and then tuesday is the only day that i went in the office i got some work done i was a little productive last week but i'm hoping to be more productive this week i was just so exhausted but i actually feel like well rested now so that's great we're also restarting our workout routine this week i don't know if i'm gonna go to like the gym gym this week i might just on my like off days from Pilates, I might just go walking outside for like 30 minutes or so. Or if I do decide to go to the gym, I might just do 12, 3, 30 um, in the gym, which is when you walk on the treadmill for 30 minutes at like a, at three speed and the incline is at 12 and just watch something on YouTube while I'm doing that. Um, so we'll see, but definitely going to Pilates this week. I have class later on today and i don't remember if i'm going on wednesday this week or if i'm doing friday i think i'm doing my normal wednesday this week we'll see but i'm definitely going twice this week and i already know pilates is going to kick my motherfucking ass i don't know why i said that like that like i don't curse on my channel on like the daily and i i don't curse in real life on the daily because i do but anyways um it's gonna kick my ass and not looking forward to that aspect of it but i'm glad to be getting back into it because i've missed pilates but now i actually feel like well rested this week because i tried to go last week and it just it wasn't it like it just was not it i i was just too tired to like go do anything i just needed to catch up on my sleep and i feel better so we're gonna go today um, but that is my little rundown for today. I just wanted to check in with y'all real quick. Oh, I ordered some clothes yesterday. I'm probably going to do another round. I reorganized my closet and got rid of some stuff. I'll show y'all real quick before I make my breakfast. Okay, so my purses are still up here. I have some over here. They can fit up there. I just need to reorganize. Coats are still here. I got rid of like two of my little fleece things because I have more than enough of these. And then I got rid of two of my cardigans because I haven't worn them. I got rid of a, quite a few dresses because I haven't worn them. I got rid of a few tops, crop tops, because I haven't worn them. I moved my bottoms, so my cargo pants, my work pants, my denim shorts, and my skirts. I moved them over here. I still have room here to hang up pants but i moved them over here for now i put all of my shoes here instead of having some of them here and then my sneakers here it opens all of this up i got rid of my jeans i, I only had two pairs but i need to buy some new ones and then i finally unpacked my suitcases but they're unpacked and they are right here and yeah what was i saying Oh, so yes, I reorganized my closet. I got rid of certain things that is like I've had in my closet and I haven't worn it in like quite some time or I bought it with the purpose of wearing it for certain occasions at the time. Those didn't happen and so they're just sitting there and I haven't worn them and I haven't worn them because I feel like they don't fit the vibe and the aesthetic that I'm going for. And when I say that, I don't mean like I'm trying to dress like other people or whatever. It's just your style changes as you get older and it's just not fitting where I am right now. I'm very, very focused on like 
I like streetwear looks. I like being chill. I like being comfortable. But then also I like to have pieces in my closet that I can dress up when I need to have nice dresses have um just quality pieces also have good basics in terms of like tops body suits things that i can not only wear to work but like also wear to go out or like i just like my closet to be versatile but also have like staple pieces and then certain pieces for like certain like dressier occasions which is why i buy a whole bunch of dresses from bbx strand bbx brand all the time because her dresses are fire top-notch quality they look banging on my body and i know that i always have one in case i have a special occasion or something that i need to go to so that's like kind of my philosophy right now for like getting rid of stuff and ordering new stuff and so i did order another pair of cargos from a local european because i love their cargo pants um and then i ordered some more dress pants from zara i had to replace the black ones that i have because there's something wrong with the zipper um, my blue ones are fine but there's something wrong with the zipper on the black one it just keeps malfunctioning so i was like i'm not gonna take them to get fixed i will just buy a new pair and then i bought them in two other colors as well i bought I replaced two of the bodysuits that I had gotten from Zara a while back. What else did I get from Zara? I got a few other like tops bodysuits. Those I cannot necessarily wear to work, but they were very cute. So I was like, let me just have them in my closet. But I am eyeing a few bodysuits from Aritzia right now that can double as like work tops, but also like going out outfit top so i think i might order those as well because i was like i need to re-up my closet for work as well and just have pieces that are versatile like i was saying and then i want some dress pants that are not like ankle length just for like when it gets a little colder out here and then i need to get a pair of like pumps i had some slingback pumps but like even though they were the right size they were a nine sometimes i would feel like when i was walking the slingback part would like slide down um y'all don't care about that but that is why i'm giving them away so i need to get another pair of pumps but yeah <sighs> so i ordered some clothes oh, i also had to order skincare yesterday because i was running out of my toner and my more, uh, not my moisturizer my cleanser so I did that as well so I didn't really do much this past weekend except chill catch up on my sleep do a closet clean out order some new clothes so I can have some stuff for work and a few pieces outside of that and that was really it, it was pretty chill so enough of my rambling I have been talking for almost 10 minutes i am going to make some breakfast now and get to work and i will check in with y'all maybe before i go to pilates might take y'all with me i've taken y'all with me before um because they don't really mind if i record in there so we'll see hey y'all happy thursday it is a little bit after nine in the morning let me prop y'all up all right hey y'all here we go it is a little after nine i just finished taking a shower and stuff checking a few of my emails i have no meetings today which is great so i can be productive for work and i also need to run errands i need to go to PetSmart to get some eye drops for mr skipper and i'm probably going to take him with me in the car i also need to get some coffee i have enough for today and i'm pretty sure tomorrow but i'm running out of coffee so i might have to do a pickup order from tarjay oh but cub is by the pet smart just if i take him i don't want to leave him in the car even though it would be super quick i just 
don't want to leave him in the car so we'll see if we take him i also need coffee and then that is really it i did not go to pilates yesterday and i'm still trying to decide if i'm gonna sign up for a class tomorrow so this wrist my left wrist which sometimes is just naturally weak i had surgery on this hand um in high school like junior year of high school stop that what was i gonna say oh and so ever since then it's always been a little week before i went on vacation i noticed that right here it's a little bit better now but when i press on it i can feel it it hurts a little bit and so when i went to pilates on monday i was trying we were doing a move using the handlebars it was like a standard twisted like v up and we had to use the handlebars and you're essentially putting your weight on your hands and your wrist and your upper body in order to like hold yourself up and then you move the board with your feet to do like a twisted v up and because this hand was hurting i was putting more pressure on my right hand and now my right hand is irritated in the wrist and so i'm concerned about going back to Pilates this week because even though I want to go, I'm afraid that I'm going to make my wrists worse and I feel like I should let them heal a little bit. So I'm afraid they're still irritated. They're a little bit better than they were earlier in the week. But now that this one is hurting too because I had to put more weight on this one to kind of stop this one from bothering me during class, now they both bother and so i'm still trying to decide if i'm going to sign up for a class so yeah trying to figure the pilates shit out on monday that i had ordered some clothes um and then i was going to order some more uh some body suits from aritzia um and so majority of them came yesterday i tried one of them on and i really 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 like the quality of these i got them in a few different styles they're all from the same collection which is like their contour it's the babaton contour bodysuit collection this is the muscle tank version it's a thong bodysuit which is what i personally prefer um if you order these they're also like non-refundable which makes sense because they're thongs and for sanitary purposes so just keep that in mind i ordered all of mine in a medium i have the muscle tank version i have the t-shirt version and then i have two long sleeve versions like one with a regular uh neckline like this and then the other one is like a mock turtleneck those are like for the fall winter but i also have one more of these coming today it's another t-shirt version i guess it just shipped from a different warehouse than these did but i ordered like six or seven of these in different colors and styles it fits perfectly, like it fits so good. The material is very stretchy, it sucks you in. All of that great jazz. I'm not going to try them on on camera for you today because I did a poll um, on the community tab on my channel. Um, I normally do these polls on Instagram, but I wanted to ask my actual um, subscribers. I know that there's people that follow me on Instagram that also watch my content, but I know for a fact that obviously if you are subscribed to my channel, you watch my content. So I was like, I will do a poll on my community tab and see if I get any responses. And I said, would y'all like a dedicated clothing haul because I just ordered a whole bunch of shit and I haven't done one in a while or would you prefer that I just include it in the vlogs like I have been doing in the past and when did I do that poll? I think I did it like Monday or Tuesday and uh, right now doing a dedicated like clothing haul is winning. I feel like it'll also help like break up the vlog content a little bit and I enjoy filming with my DSLR and I don't get to do that too often so... I'm gonna do a dedicated clothing haul. I'm waiting on my pants from Local European, which I think come tomorrow. All of my items from Zara just shipped, so I don't think they'll be here until like maybe like next Tuesday or Wednesday. So the clothing haul is not gonna get filmed um, until next week. This vlog will most likely be up before that clothing haul goes up. So yeah, I do have non- clothing related things that I'm waiting for in the mail and I will probably do an unboxing of those things when they come which is my skincare products that I got from Glossier and Good Molecules but other than that I'm saving all the clothes for the clothing haul but yeah 
let me stop rambling i need to take my vitamins and my pills make something to eat go to the store do what i need to do come back and be productive for the day so i will talk to you beautiful people later sorry today is september 2nd i believe yes today is september 2nd it is about to be nine o'clock in the morning so the last time y'all saw me was yesterday and it was like my little breakfast montage and then i had got to work i did some work yesterday i was productive i have a project that i need to have like done by end of day today so i was doing a lot of stuff for that yesterday and like outlining what i need to work on um so now i just need to like type everything up in my document and get it to my director by end of day today so that's what i will be doing today let me go make something to eat so i can go get to work and get this shit done and have it turned in by the end of the day and i will check in with y'all later Hey y'all, I am back from ooh, the coffee shop. I ended up getting a lot of work done, not completely done yet with the project document that I'm working on, but it's like about like 85 to 90% done. So I have to finish that before I get off the camera and go back to doing some work, just ate lunch. My package from Local European came in, so I'll just show y'all what they what the pants look like real quick. Since I'm gonna take them out the package, I'll just try these on for you guys, but they will actually be still in the clothing haul that I'm gonna do, and I'll probably like actually style it. Oh, I just got an update on my vlog camera. So unfortunately, there was extensive damage um to the camera from it being dropped in the pool and so they are unable to fix it because for them to like buy the parts and like do the whole repair and everything it would end up costing more than what it would cost for me to just repurchase the camera so i just rebought the camera but yes i appreciate them doing the diagnostic and seeing if like it could be repaired but they deemed it beyond um economical repair and so i just placed a new order on best buy i'm kind of annoyed about it because that camera is like basically eight hundred dollars so yeah there's that but my dumbass will definitely know not to throw my camera ever again i just didn't think it would bounce off the chair like my brain obviously was not working and i should have just moved it and placed it on the chair so that we wouldn't be in this fucking situation but it's okay the camera's purchased i'm supposed to go pick it up later from best buy so yeah i am going back to work i need to finish this document and i will talk to you beautiful people later all right hey guys Ooh, you can't see me still vlogging on the old vlog camera 
But surprise package came in today. First of all, I finished what I needed to do for that project. Passed it over to my director. We made some edits and now it's done. Praise Jesus. I told her I was like stressed because I basically had 24 hours to like get this into her. Um, and she was like, I knew you could do it. Like, yeah, it was going to get done. But like, I was a little, I was a little stressed. But I also work really well under pressure, which is partially why I'm a procrastinator because like the closer it gets to a deadline, obviously the shit got to get done. So like, yeah, I might be stressed out, but it's going to get done. That's how I used to function in grad school all the time and undergrad. It's not healthy. It's really not good, but you know, anyways, it's done. So finish that. Just got off the phone with my parents and the resident advisor just knocked on my door to deliver a package and i thought i had gotten all my packages for the day but apparently they just delivered my package from zara which was not supposed to come until tuesday but it got here today i'm not mad at it that was pretty fucking quick because i feel like i just ordered this shit on monday or whenever i placed this order um so it came i got like four bodysuits, so that's what's on this side, and then one of my dress pants and the two other dress pants. So now everything is officially here, right? Yeah, everything is here for my haul. And since I have a three day weekend because we don't have work on Monday because it's Labor Day, which I kind of forgot about. Hold on, guys. I was trying to multitask and talk at the same time and it wasn't working. What was I saying? Oh, because I have a long weekend and everything ended up coming today instead of by next Tuesday, I will probably film my haul. I might film it on Sunday or film it on my day off, which is Monday. I think I'm just going to go ahead and go to Target and hopefully while I'm in Target, Best Buy will tell me that my order is ready to be picked up so I can go get that. I'll see you beautiful people later. Hey y'all, I am back from running errands and I timed it perfectly when I was leaving Target. My order from Best Buy was done so then i went to best buy right after i left target um from target i just picked up my medicine from cvs and then i got coffee got some uh boom chicka pop popcorn my favorite hand towels i need a new razor and then a toothpaste and a mouthwash and i didn't steer from the list the razor was the only extra thing i bought and that's because when i was there i was like oh shit i need a new razor but other than that target did not get me i only went there what i said i was going there for and i took my ass home well took my ass to best buy and then went home so successful target trip they didn't get me i went to best buy right after as i said and i got my camera so we will be back in business and shooting in 4k again and in better quality so upset that i had to buy a fucking new camera but it is what it is i do what i do for the content and because i want it to look good because i like to produce quality so yeah i bought my camera i'm gonna charge it i'm gonna eat while my camera is charging and i will probably check in with y'all tomorrow shooting on my sony zv1 now in our 4k quality we love that. Oh, what a difference. What a motherfucking difference. Okay, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.
Hey y'all, happy Saturday. It is about to be three o'clock and I'm on my way to my friend Alexis's place because we are going from there to the state fair. Y'all saw a little montage from this morning that was me like making my breakfast and stuff. Then I spent all morning up until like about one-ish cleaning my entire apartment, dusting, vacuuming, mopping the floor, cleaning all the countertops, cleaning the bathroom everything i started doing laundry so i put a batch in the dryer i will do the rest of the laundry tomorrow but yeah i got a lot done today it was very productive so now we are getting ready to go to the fair quick outfit check so skims top this plaid button up is from misguided r.i.p to misguided because yeah it doesn't exist anymore pants are also from misguided and then I have on my Air Maxes, which I haven't worn in a while, but we love an all black outfit, an all black moment. And then I have my Coach Pillow Tabby 26 and I attached the longer strap so that I can wear it crossbody. I will see you guys there. I just fell in love. I just quit my job. I'm gonna find no drive. Damn, they work me so damn hard. Work by night. Sitting off past five. And they work my nerves. That's why I cannot sleep at night. I'm motivation. I'm looking for a new foundation, yeah. And I'm on that new vibration. I'm building my own foundation, yeah. Hold up, oh baby, baby, you won't break my soul. 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 I'm telling everybody, na na, everybody, everybody, everybody. Release the time, release the time, release the strength, release the love, forget the rest. I'm down my head, cause I lost my mind. He is back and I'm sleeping real good at night. Hey y'all, happy Sunday. It is September 4th. Uh oh, there we go. 9.37. Hold on. <coughs> Ooh, it's 9.37 in the morning. It is like perfect weather outside. And if I think it's only supposed to get like mid 70s today. It's like, it was 50 something when I walked Skipper. It was like 57, it's 60 now. The high today is only supposed to be 76. It's like perfect 
weather today, but uh, my allergies are bothering me a little today. But anyways, I didn't speak to you guys after I came back from the fair. I got home, I think like a little after nine, but I had a very good time at the fair. It was very similar to the North Carolina State Fair, but it was like pretty, pretty cool. It was so packed. There were like so many fucking people. Granted, we went on a Saturday and the fair ends. So it ends, I think, either today or tomorrow because tomorrow's Labor Day. Um, and so it's interesting is like they do their fair around this time and kind of like when the fair is over, it kind of like signifies like the end of summer um, and going into fall, although the weather has not dipped yet, not completely. Um, it's still gonna be relatively warm outside, but in North Carolina, we do our fair like when it's fall. So I feel like that's a, a difference. And then like some of the foods might be different because there might be some things that are like more culturally relevant for Minnesota. And then like we have foods at the North Carolina State Fair that would be like, oh yeah, of course they would have this at the North Carolina State Fair type of thing. But very similar but I had a really good time. I don't go to the fair to ride rides. That's not my thing. Although when I was younger, I used to love that kind of shit. But now I just go for the food. That's all that I'm there for, for food, to drink, to people watch, and that's it. So I had a burger when I got there because I was hungry. And then I had to get a funnel cake because that's like, you know, traditional fair food like you have to have it. and I haven't had a funnel cake in like so long so I got a funnel cake then I got some ice cream and then I got a turkey leg but I ended up bringing it home so yeah my camera just randomly stopped recording and I am not really sure why or what happened but what I was saying is I have nothing really going on today, just finishing laundry, relaxing, editing this vlog, prepping for the video I'm gonna film tomorrow. And then tomorrow I'll film that video and then just relax. I'll do a little meal prepping tomorrow for the week and then that's really it. But that is the end of this vlog. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to, you know the drill, like, comment, subscribe, road to 1k. We are, you know, almost there. Help a sister out, share my videos, share my channel with your friends, your family, whoever you think might be interested. Cause yeah, we trying to hit 1k by the end of the year. So, but yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I love you all. And I will see you in the next video.